Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial from InFixItOnline.com Don't forget to visit the website InFixItOnline.com for your YouTube viewers and don't forget to check out my YouTube channel for people on the site Also if you're on YouTube, remember if you like the video, add, leave comments and subscribe, that's what keeps us going Alright so this video here will be part two of the WinAVR video converter. Since I produced my first video, I've been getting a lot of responses. I thank you all for that, but a lot of people have been contacting me with the error message that they've been receiving. Whenever you're converting from different multimedia files, you're bound to have problems sometimes. But I have pretty much about a 90, 90 to 95% success rate using Win, WinAVR video converter, right? So I'm just going to take you through a few things in this video to, to look for if you ever run into problems right now in the beginning I never got to here of course here if you click on here that'll take you to their website where it says web then on the left top here you see it says menu now you have format convert that's basically the same as these options here but it's sort of a shortcut you can burn the disk you made put it right to disk because you know uh, when you burn the DVD or when you convert the DVD, it just makes the um, DVD folders. You can burn those folders here. You can view the clip info. That will ask you, if you press this button, it will ask you to browse to a clip. Now, view log info. This comes in handy because it starts the log as soon as you start the application and, of course, whatever process you've done. So that'll help you out if you happen to run into any problems. All right, it'll help somebody who knows when AVI video convert out alright so if you have a problem and um you want to comment and contact me it'd be nice if you can save a copy of this file and copy and paste it into your comment that help out a lot alright restore all message boxes options of course bring you to these tabs here general leave all that default association if you want to um directly link when AVI with any file associations you can do it here by checking or not I'll leave that blank so forth cancel okay support center that's so how you can email when AVR support tech support they can help you out also you can visit their website of course about lets you know the version the version that you're using the win AVR etc and then exit alright so now what we're gonna do is um I have a a video here that I want to convert. It's another software out there. I noticed in um one thing that it been a problem converting with when AVI was um flash files or FLV files. Okay, and the solution I found for that, I found a software called Super Media Converter from a company called e -Write Soft. it's a free software and um it's 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 a um it's a great software application you're able to convert all types of media files and working with that in AVI I've been able to convert FLV files into DVDs it's nice you can download from YouTube and make your own DVD how do YouTube clips you see check out for one of my future tutorials um on the super video converter file but alright without further ado software I have here I want to convert it to DVD so of course you click on that button here then you have to browse to the file you want this file here has the extension of FLV so even though when I use super I converted it into an MPEG file it still uses the FLV extension this gets into the people who've been having problems on the right here you see you have an advanced tab so once you click on that advanced tab once you click on that advanced tab this is the window you're presented with right and just move this over here and you'll see the the main options DVD encoder DSHOW decoder build and decoder adjustments and file property alright but we're gonna stick to the DVD encoder we're gonna switch this over here just so you see the things you should tweak around with if you're having problems. Now the main thing, if you're having problems with sound, I suggest unselecting or disabling the direct AC3 coder, right? 
as something to try when you're tweaking out or you can put it on mp2 code also All right that's some things that you try if you having problems um, with your audio once you convert to DVD okay the audio bit rate I usually leave at 192 I haven't tweaked that or had a need you see here enable DVD chapter and DVD menu we'll leave both of those selected and also another thing a lot of users contacting me saying that the video is choppy is moving fast or moving slow you always want to you know when you convert in a video or making a video you want it to be the speed to be fast but everything I always leave in high quality higher quality you see the options here highest quality higher medium lower lowest here I always go with higher quality I don't have to go to best then constant output quality instead of file size or max bit rate and then encode mode by quality instead of speed those three options are very important as far as how the quality of your video is going to come out All right so now switch over to here you see the DSH OW decoder file splitter all these here I leave uh, pretty much at default unless I'm um, trying to split a file up into different DVDs or different chapters or so forth but these you pretty much will leave at default okay but if I experience problems maybe I would go through these and um, try to see where I could change something at but going through these options I don't see a need to change there then of course you have the video decoder okay and um, I leave all, also all these at the um, default options but just to select like on mp4 you see you have core ABC video decoder and the 3 IVX D4 video coder Dakota, sorry. You might want to try some of those if you're having problems also. I mean, you never know, you know? Okay, and here, the audio decoder. For all you people, because a lot of people do contact me with audio problems. Here's where you might want to tweak, depending on what your output format is. You might want to go in the subsection and maybe ch choose something else. See if that changed your output. You know, I mean, if something ain't working, it, you, you can't lose. It's not like you're wasting the disc. It could be spending a lot of time experimenting, but it helps for the future. You see Dakota adjust. Of course, you leave that at default. Stream select. We don't touch that. Built in Dakota. Adjustment. You can adjust your the axis of your video, the way it's positioned, or what have you. Stream select. Built in Dakota. I'm sorry, I went backwards. That's your adjusting. Then file properties. Okay, so that's just some things to go through. Back to the um, DVD encoder. Then, of course, you select on the um, OK button to leave the advanced menus. And that brings you back to this uh, basic window here. Of course, you know you can have multiple files. You see we have one file here. You can press the plus button to add files, or you can take away files or move up and down your list, your output directory. Uh, we went over this on the first video, so there's no need for me to go over this again. This is where your um your video, the output directory, will be produced in. So uh, pay attention to that most of the time you should put it in my documents. But if you have somewhere in particular you want it, you can put it there. And of course, you see here the output format. All right. So I hope this helps. If you have any problems, contact me. Don't be afraid. Um, don't forget to visit the website YouTube. Uh, viewers and fix it online dot com don't forget to go to youtube check out my channel uh, on the website you can go to my website and go to tutorial requests if you have a special request to learn a certain software perform a certain task on the software I help out as much as I can I mean even if I don't know the software I'll learn it or find out your question and produce a video for it alright we've done it so far thank you for viewing hope this tutorial was informative for you to the next time. Peace.